Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share what I got for Christmas and also I'll show what I got others for Christmas. Um, if you celebrate, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I don't know when I will be posting this, but I just wanted to share what I got. So I'll start with the kind of the smaller, less expensive things. Um, this is the cow pack set of packing cubes in marble. I got this from Nordstrom and it was on sale during Black Friday, but these are just such a great set. I got a set of packing cubes from Amazon just on a whim because everyone recommended them and they really changed my life and how I pack and how I, you know, travel. So I wanted to upgrade my set. So I got this and these are great because it comes in a little set, it comes with an envelope pouch, different sizes. Um, I can keep my shoes in here and, and I really like the marble design. So I'll link this below if you're interested. Um, let me know what packing cubes you guys use. I just, I'm always on the hunt for really good ones. I got a, I got a cheap set from Amazon. They're, they're okay, but I can, you know, they're not the best quality. So hopefully these will, um, be a good set. Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 Instant Camera Bundle. So I got this for me because I like the pink. I like that it comes with little frames and, you know, it's a, it's a whole gift set. And then I got the blue, I got a blue one for my son. I have a, I have three boys and I just thought it was, it would be really cute to see, you know, how they view the world, how he views the world from his perspective. He's not quite at the age to have a cell phone, but I figured this would be really cute and he can take pictures of him himself and his brothers. And yeah, so, and it's kind of the instant gratification because they can, you know, print the Polaroid out really quick. Oh, I showed this in my last gift guide video. This is the Poopsie Pooey Vuitton. It is kind of like a gag gift if you want to give this to, to an adult. I got this for my kids because this is actually a slime kit. I just thought it was so cute. It's obviously supposed to look like you know, the Louis Vuitton multicolor. This is the back of it. And it opens up like this. So I got this from Target. And my kids, I, I am not really into slime. I, it's kind of messy. But, you know, this would be a great gift. A uh, nice little craft kit. And I just really liked... I really like the case. So when they're done playing with it, I plan on keeping this and I don't know what I plan on doing with it. <laughs> Just having it on display in my closet. The Tiffany and Love uh, fragrance. I didn't really like the other Tiffany fragrances. I mentioned it in my gift guide before, but I thought they, they were a little too icy and powdery for me, but this I really liked. It's just, it's a lot more musky and Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's like, what is it, grapefruit? I'll put what the notes are, but it's just, I instantly really liked it. It's a little spicier, which I, I tend to like. I don't know, my fragrances are all over the place because I like Afternoon Swim, which is kind of citrusy and refreshing, but this is definitely muskier. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's the Tiffany and Love perfume. Now, I also got something from Tiffany's from the Housewares collection. Last year, I got the Bone China set which is two they look like paper cups kind of like you know like paper cups <laughs> but um this year so this is the box that it came in i got a set of the manhattan mugs now i'm from new york i've said this a couple times but i just really like this i you know the other the other cups were were cute they didn't have um handles the um bone china Oops. but these are so cute it shows where the Tiffany flagship store is. There's Upper West Side, Hudson River, Upper East Side. So I just, I love these. These are fine bone china made in Japan. Um, it has kind of like a metal at the rim. So unfortunately these are, I'm pretty sure these aren't dishwasher uh, safe. So hand wash only, which is fine. Um, I plan on keeping at least maybe one of these or maybe, I don't know, maybe both. Cause then I can use one for pens and stuff at work and I hand wash there anyway, obviously, because there's no dishwasher there. So that is the Manhattan mugs from Tiffany. Next up, I went to the Gucci pop-up outlet and I was gonna make a separate video about this. I still can. It was about an, maybe an hour, hour and a half from me. And it's not as big and it's not as nice and nicely decorated and it's not as stocked, obviously, as the huge, the Gucci outlet in Woodbury Common. They didn't have, you know, as much of a selection, but I did get one thing and I got, and I've already used it. <laughs> I got this shawl or scarf, I don't know what they call it. But I just love this color. I just thought it was so pretty. It's almost, it looks like it's iridescent. 
it reminds me of my um, Louis Vuitton denim shawl, which is blue and um, and then a lighter blue. So it's like a navy blue and then a lighter blue. But yeah, look at that. It's just like, it's like this really two, pretty two-toned. Tie it like this. And then like this underneath. So yeah, this way it keeps you nice and warm. That's how I tie it. And then you put your coat on around. So then this part is kind of tufted out. I will definitely use these colors and I'll use this all through winter. And I like this because I can already tell that it's not as easy to snag as my Louis Vuitton monogram shawl. I have two, I have one in red and one in denim and you know, it gets snags easily. And then the other one, the winter shawl stole or whatever, it pills easily. So I'm always, I'm kind of hesitant to use it, especially around my kids. There's a lot of Velcro um, on my kids' jackets and you know, sneakers and stuff. And so I don't want it to catch on there, but um, this I plan on using this winter and also at my at work you know it's cold so I can wrap myself in this shawl. Now these I've talked about several times on my channel but I'll, I have to mention it again because I got something else from the collection. Um, I got this Dior lipstick set solely for the fact that this insert this um, insert comes out and you can use it as a zip clutch and I will link the video below I'm not going to go into details but I get this every year and so this is the design this year um, but what I added this year is I also got the face palette and this is a little different this pops open this way my favorite part of this collection are the palettes the small palettes the first one I got was this which I have showed several times um, it has a eyeshadows and then two lipsticks and the brushes but what I liked about this is it's a card case size so this comes out and I got a second one. I got the eyeshadow, just the five eyeshadow set, and I already took out the insert. But yeah, so it's I use it as a card case. So these are my cards. It holds 14 cards in here comfortably. It has a mirror, and you can use it as a business card holder, but I just, I love this little card case. Recently got the Hermes fragrance coffret, and I got the, um, the replica. These are the four minis. Twilly is at the top, and this is so cute because the full size comes with a little Twilly, um, a little Twilly. A little twilly <laughs> that's tied around the neck i wish i liked this scent i don't really like it unfortunately i would have gotten it even if i liked it like 75 percent. i would have i would get the full size for the twilly but I, I don't really like it so we'll see maybe my taste will change i got this first this is the jardin collection and it's the same thing comes in a box with the lid and i plan to use this as kind of a a tray like a bedside tray I also got these earrings I'll link the video <laughs> where I talk about it but these are my for my birthday I got this these Chanel earrings I had two gift cards from Saks so I got these from Chanel and I just look how pretty also this company Majori if you're familiar with it you might have seen them pop up on Instagram they gifted me this necklace this is called the Lotus necklace um, I'll link it below but it's so pretty so thank you Majori for for gifting this to me um you can adjust this so you can wear it a little lower if you want um but yeah it's just so pretty it's so it's just like kind of floats there it's so it's so simple but so pretty i've already worn this to my work holiday party and yeah i definitely i've been eyeing their jewelry for a long time um i think their cuffs would always pop up on instagram ads for me and i never pulled the trigger on them but then they reached out to me and offered to send me something and it's so pretty. You're probably wondering, why do I have so many Louis Vuitton bags? <laughs> I got a lot of stuff from LV the past few weeks, maybe the past month or so. So this is kind of a collective birthday. My birthday, it was early December. And then, and also Black Friday was when the, um, no, before Black Friday, the gift packaging came, the holiday packaging came out. Most of the things I got from LV are inexpensive. I mentioned these in my gift guide. I got the two city guides for one for New York and one for LA. I'm from New York, so I just, I had to get this and um, one from Los Angeles. And so I plan on, you know, this this is such a great souvenir if you're traveling and you know, you are shopping when you're traveling in one of the other major cities, you can go in and pick this up. These are only $37, but it's a great um, kind of a souvenir from your trip. Um, I got this, this is the Louis Vuitton travel book also for New York and it has the artists name here so this is a great coffee table book you open it up and it has 
all these illustrations for New York. Sales rep um, was so nice and she added this. This is their, they don't do a, a printed catalog. If you are old school LV, they used to have a catalog printed out. Um, they don't do that anymore. So they do have this, which is, they call it the book, but it's really just a magazine. And so I guess it comes out every quarter. This is for November, 2019 to February, 2020. And yeah, so I showed this before when I went to the LV e e exhibition for Rodeo Drive. I had the previous quarter, um, but yeah, so it just shows you random, random things. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in this. I can do, I can do a page by page, but um, so yeah, that was a nice addition. So I can add that to my coffee table book collection for Louis Vuitton. I got new replacement luggage tags for my LV, for my LV keep all um, and niece train case. So my name changed <laughs> since I had gotten my my luggage so it has my old initials and so I instead of you know getting my new initials I just had it hot stamped with C for my first name Cindy and then on the back of both I had something different so one was the Vivian in gold foil look how wow it's like a mirror you can see a reflection right there but <laughs> and then I got the Beverly Hills in hot pink because again I went to the um Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive this year. I went to the LV exhibition, which unfortunately has closed down, but I didn't bring my luggage tag. I didn't even think to bring any of my bags that had a tag on it. Um, if you were there, you know, they can hot stamp it with the hot stamps that they have at that location. And so the Beverly Hills LV stamp, hot stamp, um, like I'm, I'm pretty sure it's only available at Beverly Hills or maybe it's available other places, but it's not available near me. So they hot stamped it for me and sent it over. So it's kind of my souvenir from there, but even though I didn't get it while I was there, I did go, but I didn't get it there. I'll post the videos where I unbox these, but these are the two items I picked up from the Christmas animation collection this year from Louis Vuitton. This is the Venice mini pochette and the Paris mini pochette. And these are so cute. I had to get both of them. I didn't get anything else. I was considering maybe getting, you know, the long wallet, but I don't, I don't really use big wallets that much anymore. So I just got the mini pochettes because I love how it has the um, blue, you know, or the, the red here. Um, also I got this, um, her name is Melody. Her, she has an Etsy shop called Nelly Z. She sent me a bunch of different leather accessories and bag charms and straps. And this is so great. It matches the Damier. Oh, well, you don't have it on here, but whatever. <laughs> I put it on here because it matches the, the, the darker brown. This matches the Damier Aben leather, the treated leather. So this is a cute little... I just added it to the zipper pull. But um, yeah, I, I plan on doing another video where I show all the different accessories. I also have a, a long crossbody strap that she sent. She was so sweet. So definitely check her shop out below. I have a discount code for, I think it's $5 off. You just put in my um, YouTube channel name, A Heated Mess, you get $5 off your order. So yeah, check her out, Nelly Z. Her name is Melody, very nice. So yeah, those are the two Christmas animation um, mini pochettes that I got. These are the PM and the MM agenda refills for the Louis Vuitton agendas. I have the, obviously the PM agenda and then I have the MM agenda that I've shown before, but I did get the, just the diary insert refills for 2020. Um, yeah, these are, I said these are probably the most inexpensive things, but actually the city guides are only $37. Those are actually cheaper. Um, these were about uh, 55 maybe for both or each. So yeah, that's the agenda refill. Got something from LV. I got one of their uh, custom jewelry, and <laughs> it is it was in this little dust bag. The Garden Louise hoop earrings, and I, oh my gosh, I love these. They had the bigger hoop earrings that are kind of more of a modern design. I really liked these design. I love this kind of wrap design. It's similar to my my wedding band I, so it kind of looks like kind of like a vine these are so pretty I tried them on in store and I was just like okay yeah I'm getting these <laughs> I like this because I don't really wear hoop earrings I don't really wear hoops I wear either just studs or just or you know huggies or whatever two different earrings <laughs> um, but yeah it's not too big so if I have if I have my hair up at work sometimes I tie it back it's not too look like, in your face um, because it's kind of a smaller hoop. But that is the LV Garden Louise earrings. I did get one more fragrance. This is the Cora Baton fragrance. 
Um, I had it engraved with my name and I, they did the gold foil inside. When this first came out, I just immediately was like, oh my gosh, no, it's too strong, it's too much. I don't really like it. I just, it smelled like too much patchouli for me. But then it just kind of grew on me. And when I would go back into the store and I would smell the, <laughs> smell the sales associates wearing it, it just smelled so good. It was like intoxicating. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get it out of my mind. I had already just purchased the Rose Devents and I have, I love my afternoon swim forever. But so I got this and I, I just, it smells so good. It's, this is such a great scent for the winter. It's really, it just, it's so musky and, and s sweet, but not too sweet. I just, I love this scent. So they did a great job. I think this is one of their really popular scents now. So yeah, I got the Corbatant. Um, I'm trying to rotate through my fragrances, but I really like this one. It actually kind of smells similar to the, there, I, I would say they kind of complement each other. Yeah, this is a little stronger. Um, but yeah, I, if you like this one, you, you would probably like this. And if you like this, you would like this one. So they kind of go together. They're similar families, I think. So that is pretty much all I got for Christmas this year. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I hope you had a great Christmas and let me know if you have any questions about anything I got. Let me know what you got for Christmas and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!